Yo, this is Cablehead, and today I will show you the Perkin setup which I just hooked up today. It's really a great box by itself, but I'm missing all the stereo stuff, panning and things like that. So that's why I hooked all these pedals up. That's not the only reason, but um, yeah, I was thinking to do uh, some softer ambient or um, not the typical hard techno hitting stuff with the Perkins and so I wanted to try to use it on its own which is pretty nice but as I said the whole stereo image panning stuff is missing so I thought if I if I record some more music with it and a lot of jams then I might as well enjoy the stereo side of the whole music shit. So I hooked all this stuff up. Yeah, um, the Perkins has been wonderfully satisfying for me so far and I, I'm sure it won't change. And yeah, it's expensive but it really is a great box. It's not really only a drum machine it can do drums especially well and the synth sides of it is not too um, sophisticated so you don't have a tag or whatever but you can do a lot of different um, synth sounds and melodic stuff which I will show you and I really like it. It's also it feels like a synth drum machine kind of hybrid box to me. Yeah yeah. Okay, so first we will start with voice four. It's playing this long noise Actually, it's like a backwards right, I think. Or like backwards. Uh, hi hat, open hi hat, but bit crushed because of this parameter. It's not really backwards, but it's a slow attack. It's going from here into this and this is Ampliton. I don't know how to say it, how to pronounce it. Um, it's a panning tremolo stereo pan auto ping pong type of effect and it goes into this reverb RV7, some lexicon algorithms so it's going from left to right really slowly the whole time next we have voice 3 which is the bass sound really deep this one only plays every second time but as sound is so long you always hear the parameter lock when you're changing um, and this goes from here into the light pedal optical spring reverb system and now you hear nothing from this pedal but when I open up the drive It's 
the feedback setting so it will get louder after some time because somehow the spring inside the feedbacks and you can add harmonics here Actually it sounds a little bit out of tune, but yeah, this is pretty cool for melodic stuff too, the Perkins, but it's not really perfect in tune. You can hit most tones or notes from the scale, or you can hit every or set it to every note there is in the scale. 12 semitones but some are just a tiny bit off or I don't know how to describe it so it's not perfect but it gives it um, a certain character so it's a little bit out of tune but still usable I think and yeah this goes into I'm confused from here oh, into the Mako Mako D1 delay goes to stereo panning too just to mix all the way up and here it's the bypass filter that I'm on now I switch this off again and we go to voice 1 which is actually the sequence I started on and it goes from here into this envelope filter, stereo double filter the float pedal you can control each channel differently so the right side gets filtered differently than the left side if you want it and then it goes into the then delay and from there it goes out with the tape um, echo setting and pen delay so it also goes from here to there and into the supernatural ambient reverb and if I open up the filter you can hear it a bit more now let's add voice 2 